building a Dante in AES 54U wireless IEM rack. Today, I talk about how I built an 8-channel wireless IEM system in a 4U form factor. The past, a couple of years ago, I bought a Sennheiser UIEM G4 to be used in my sound devices Scorpio, my microphone, MIC, rack. With this, I could either receive a single wireless stereo mix or two separate wireless mono mixes which Sennheiser calls focus mode. For all other mixes I used four Behringer P16M personal mixers with wired headphones on my Behringer X32 rack, my front of house FOH rack. Three years later, I wanted to extend the number of wireless channels and have a solution that could be used independently of any rack with either Dante or AES50. The solution, after some thinking back and forth, I decided to do a complete redesign and not use another X32 rack and not continue to use the P16M mixers either. Instead, I went for a Midas M32C with a Midas Hub 4 and 4 Midas DP48 personal mixers. All of that would feed four Sennheiser UIEM G4 transmitters sharing a single transmitting antenna. The requirements. To better understand why I chose this setup I list my 15 requirements that had to be met by the new solution. 1. A new IEM rack and the existing FOH and MIC rack can be separated by more than 50 meters. 2. Be able to connect with a single cable to either of the racks. 3. Minimize recabling when using with either FOH or MIC rack. 4. Be able to extend the IEM rack to use it as a stage mixer. 5. Be able to connect our 48 by 40 stage box the IEM rack. 6. Be able to use all three racks at the same time. 7. Be able to use up to four stereo or eight mono wireless IEM channels. 8. Be able to use up to eight separate personal monitor mixes selectable from at least 16 channels each. 9. Be able to remotely control personal mixes. 10. Reduce interference between separate IEM transmitters. 11. Do not rely on wireless radio transmission in the 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz band. 12. Have low latency to be usable for vocals. 13. Be able to use talkback between talents and sound engineer. 14. Be able to route talkback from other sources to the personal mixers and wireless IEMs. 15. Support ambient sound to ease listening within ear headphones. The build. As mentioned already, the system will be built around a Midas M32C that accepts input either via AES50 or Dante. For the latter, we swap the standard USB expansion card with the X-Dante card that allows for a 32x32 32 routing into and out of the mixer. When connected with the MIC rack, Dante will be used for input and output. When used with the FOH rack, AES50 will be used. In both cases, Dante can also be used in either setup for providing output channels to other interested devices. Amidas DP48 personal mixers replace our existing Behringer P16M mixers, as they offer many advantages. As each DP48 supports two stereo mixers, we can either use half the number of personal mixers for talents in comparison to the P16M or create eight mono mixes from four personal mixers. In addition, we can route the talkback functionality of the DP48 back into FOH or anywhere else via AES50 and Dante. Channel and group assignment can be done from either the M32C or via the DP48 which is connected to port one of the hub 4. We then connect the eight Sennheiser transmitters inputs to the physical outputs of the HUB4 but only use inputs marked as channels 33 and 34, 37 and 38, 41 and 42 and 45 and 46. We add our network switch and router and configure the local network to be 169.254.002.000 with a subnet mask of 16 bits. By this any DHCP client or IPIPA client receives a network address on the same network. Everything is then connected to the power conditioner and packed into a plastic 4U rack case. And this is all regarding the build. The routing. To make this setup work we have to configure the routing on the M32C. First, we route channels 1 to 32 from incoming AES50 or to outgoing AES50B, which is then downstream to the hub 4. We then route AES50B upstream from hub 4 channels 1 and 2, 5 and 6, 9 and 10, 13 and 14, 17 and 18, 21 and 22, 25 and 26 and 29 and 32 user input channels 1 to 16. These are the channels that contain the personal stereo mixes of the 4DP48. This user input is routed to input channels 1 to 16. Each input channel pair is configured as a linked stereo pair. Every four input channels are routed left and right to two stereo linked mix buses. Channels 1 to 4 to mix bus 1 and 2, channels 5 to 8 to mix bus 3 and 4, channels 9 to 12 to mix bus 5 and 6 and channels 13 to 16 to mix bus 7 and 8. These mix buses 1 to 8 are then mapped to outputs 1 to 14, skipping every third and fourth output. The outputs 1 to 14 are finally routed to AES 50B channels 33 to 46, which are then downstreamed back to the hub 4 where they are sent to the physical outputs 1 to 14. On the hub 4 we make sure that the DP48 are only sent upstream to the M32C and not sent to the physical outputs by activating the AES 50 button until it lights up green and deactivating the port buttons until they light up white. The parts. Here are the 13 main parts used in the build. 1. Tom and 4U rack case, very cheap. 
2. Adam Hall AHPCS 10 Power Conditioner 3. Netgear GS 116LP 16 Port Network Switch 4. TP-Link TLWR 802 NWLAN Router with 1RJ45 Port, powered via USB 5. Vitas M32C 1 URAC Mixer without physical inputs or outputs 6. Behringer X Dante Expansion Card, to be used in the M32C as a 32x32 Dante interface 7. Vitas Hub 4 1U Distributor for DP48 Personal Mixers in addition with a total of 16 balanced outputs, 4 XLR and 12 6.35mm TRS also powers the personal mixers via AES50. Add 4 meters DP48, personal mixer with 2 stereo mixers, 12 groups selectable from 48 channels, with ambient microphone, talkback, aux input and SD recorder that supports mix minus. 9. Sennheiser AC41 combines 4 IEM transmitter into one antenna and also feeds power to the transmitters. 10. 4 Sennheiser USR IEM G4 a1 stereo transmitter, 1U half rack size, support frequency management via network. 11. 6 Sennheiser UEC IEM G4A1 stereo receiver, support mono, stereo or focus mode, with 3.5mm TRS output. 12. Sennheiser U1031 passive omnidirectional antenna can be connected to the AC41 to get better coverage of and signal on the receivers. 13. 6 CCA 3.5mm IEM headphones. And of course, a bunch of cables. This is the front of the 4U wireless IEM rack. One transmitter is still missing as the supplier has still to ship the unit. And this is the back of the 4U wireless IEM rack with a DP48 connected to it. A performance. I did some latency tests to see how long the signal takes from the microphone to the actual wireless receiver. In my test the latency was slightly over 2.06 ms. You can read more about it in our article on appclusive.net. So, it is quite usable in my opinion. Even when singing the latency is hardly perceivable at all. The summary, we now have a very versatile wireless IEM rack with up to 8 channels in a very small form factor. This could be scaled horizontally to even a larger number of channels by adding some more of these 4U racks to the setup. The sound quality is okay, maybe a digital system would be better, but then a latency increase of an additional 2ms should be expected. The missing console is okay. I hardly change anything on the mixer at all. Only when switching between Dante and AES50 or when switching between mono and stereo mixers a scene change is needed. Everything else can be configured directly on the primary DP48. With the Clark Technic DN9630 I can even use this IEM rack via USB from a PC if I do not want to use a Dante virtual sound card. And if I ever need to add physical inputs or outputs I can connect a stage box via AES50 or Ultranet, the latter if I only want to connect more physical outputs. And this is it for today. Thanks for listening. Again, you can read more about this build on our website appclusive.net.